Red Hat OpenShift streams for Apache Kafka, Rozak is a managed Kafka service from Red Hat. In the last episode, we have learned what is Rozak and how to launch your first Rozak instance. Hi guys, my name is Karan Singh, Senior Principal Architect and Developer Evangelist at Red Hat. And in this episode of Definition Shorts, we will learn how to use Rozak instance in an application. Let's get started. As a prerequisite to use Rozak within your application running on OpenShift, Make sure you have OpenShift application services and service binding operators installed within your OpenShift cluster. Next, we will launch Kafka cluster and set permission for the service account. In the last video, we have already created a Kafka cluster using Red Hat OpenShift streams for Apache Kafka. In this episode, we will simply add permissions for the service account. To do that, click on the access tab click on the manage access button and from the drop down of account select all accounts click next from add permissions select consume from a topic as well as produce to a topic under starts with select is and enter the name as star. Similarly, do this for the other two permissions as well. And just save this. So with this, we have added a service account and provided it the permissions to read and write to a topic. All right. So next we will log in to OpenShift console. Next. We need to connect the Rozak service to OpenShift cluster. For this, we will use Red Hat OpenShift application services within the CLI. Log into OpenShift console and create a new project, Devnation Shorts. To install Roas client, click on projects, create project, name as Devnation Shorts, hit create. Next, we will use Roas container image to launch its pod. By clicking on add container images, path of the container image, and then we will scroll down and unselect create a route for this application as we don't need it. Hit create. Launching the container might take a few minutes. Once ROAS tools is up and running, navigate to its container. CLI and login to ROAS using the token that you can grab from cloud.reddit.com slash openshift slash tokens. Using this token, you can run this command ROAS login and then token as shown here. Yes for anonymous data. For now, you can ignore this permission denied warning, but you're logged in to Rozak ROAS CLI. You can verify by listing your Kafka clusters directly from the ROAS CLI. As you can see, we can now list the Devnation Kafka cluster. The Roas CLI uses OpenShift OC CLI to determine the OpenShift instances and the project that streams for Apache Kafka instance should be connected to. Log into OpenShift CLI directly from the Roas CLI. To do that, you can grab the OpenShift command line from top right copy login command option. Once you're logged in, make sure you're logged in into Devnation Shorts project that we're working in this demo. Run ROAS cluster connect command to connect this OpenShift cluster to Red Hat OpenShift streams for Apache Kafka. Select the type of the service as Kafka. 
and select the dev nation as your kafka instance and then finally you need to provide the token that we have previously copied from the OpenShift tokens paste token here and we have successfully connected to the Rosac cluster from this OpenShift cluster to verify get your OpenShift connections you can also get more details about your OpenShift connections by running the command OC describe Kafka connection dev nation. Let's launch a Quarkus application that uses OpenShift streams for Apache Kafka that produces to and consumes from a Kafka instance. But before we do that, we need to create a topic on the Kafka. Just head to your app OpenShift streams topics tab click create topic and set the topic name as prizes click next and with default settings we're gonna create this topic the topic has been successfully created next launch the Quarkus Kafka quick start application from OpenShift console Go to add container images the name of the container image repository change the icon to quarkus and then simply hit create Wait for a few seconds until the application is ready. But here we are getting some errors. Let's validate those errors. And the application is unable to connect to the Kafka cluster because the binding is not available. To do the binding, we need to run the command row as cluster bind from the CLI. Again, go to the tools terminal, run the command row as cluster bind select the application that we want to connect to in our case is this row as quarkus kafka quick start select the type of the service in here it's kafka and the name of the instance which is devnation and we are sure we want to continue and the binding has been created once the binding is ready openshift will destroy the pod and launch a new one for the application click on the application pod and go to the terminal sorry the logs and uh, we do not we no longer see any errors which means the application must be up and running go back to topology and click on the open URL button and from here we will navigate to prizes HTML which is the path of the application running let's give it a few minutes to be ready all right so as you can see we're able to see updated prizes coming up to this application which is reading it from the Kafka topic and writing it back to the Kafka topic, doing some conversion and showing us all the prizes on this web page. All right, to summarize, launching and consuming instances of Red Hat OpenShift streams for Apache Kafka within an application running on OpenShift is extremely simple. Thanks to Red Hat OpenShift application services and service binding operator. That's all in this episode of Definition Shots. If you have any feedback about this or any other episodes of Devnation Shorts, reach out to me on my email address or Red Hat Developers Twitter handle. See you in the next video.